deemed the father of South African jazz. It was in the small mining town of Whitbank where a musical legend would be born. The 4th of April in 1939 marked the special day, the arrival of a music legend, Hugh Ramapulo Masigela. At age 14, he was an inaugural member of the Huddleston Jazz Band under the guidance of apartheid activist Father Trevor Huddleston. From 1954, Masigala played music that closely reflected his life experiences and would later be influenced by the hardships of an oppressive regime. No country has ever um, uh, portrayed the power of music like the people in South Africa with their, with, with their, their um, people's revolution. It was just, um, and it, was, it was difficult not to admire them. By age 20, he was a member of the Jazz Epistles along with Abdullah Ibrahim. But his big break would come in 1958 when he scored a role in the musical King Kong. In 1960, at the tender age of 21, he left South Africa for London to study at the Guildhall School of Music. I went to conservatory and uh, I went to the Royal Academy and the Guildhall School of Music, the Manhattan School of Music. And I spent five years in conservatories. There's nothing I don't know about Bach or traditional Zulu music. A year later, he found himself exiled in New York. Here, U.S. jazz legend Harry Belafonte took him under his wing while studying at the Manhattan School of Music. In 1962, Masigala released his first album titled Trumpet Africa. The record company felt that uh, this group I was with, was, I'd been living here, so they felt that the South Africans were playing the music better than they'd ever heard it before. He would later marry fellow South African Miriam Makeba in 1964, divorcing two years later. The more, you know, uh, the, the, the phenomenon about Miriam Makeba especially is that she helped all the young artists out of South Africa, a lot of uh, exiles, uh, you know, to get scholarship. In 1990, he returned home to South Africa. I was away for 30 years, and when I came back, most of the people I grew up were either so old that I didn't recognize them or they were not in the scene anymore. Prahu has been awarded many accolades, including a 2013 Grammy nomination for the album Jabulani, and MTN honored him with the Lifetime Achievement Award. He has also been conferred with honorary doctorate degrees from York and Rhodes Universities and the University of KwaZulu Natal. In 2010, President Jacob Zuma awarded him the National Order of Ikamanga in gold for his exceptional contribution to music and the struggle against apartheid. Mangwabam Kunu, SAPC News, Johannesburg.